Christmas time, a time for spending time with our family, and where better to spend it than Toby Carvery? Well, Google places near me to get a Christmas dinner, and literally pick any, because Toby Carvery is a pile of dog wank. Toby Carvery is home to some of the driest meat you'll ever taste in your whole life. I don't care if you sucked on a fat dick that had the worst case of psoriasis, Toby Carvery's turkey would still be the driest meat you ever had in your mouth. But the horrible food isn't what made it memorable. So let's get into why I'll never forget this day for as long as I live. Me and my family took my nan out to this fine establishment to dine upon a succulent festive meal. When we arrived, there were surprisingly a lot of empty spaces in the car park, even though it was getting close to Christmas. But this didn't stop my mum from driving all the way to the other side of the car park and parking next to the one car that was parked on its own. When we pulled up next to it, my nan said, She's having a shit on the floor. Who is? Who there? Mum, don't be so rude, it's just a disabled person and the carer. No, they're having sex. They are not. Yes, they are. We get out the car and see an able-bodied woman pulling her pants up next to a man who had one of those you-got-me smiles. They didn't know what to do with their selves. They were just standing there like non-playable characters. I could have kicked this guy in his crotch noodle and he wouldn't have flinched a bit. So we just give them one of those awkward smiles and then we go in to order food. Even though that we came for a Christmas dinner, I didn't want my gain stolen by a massive Christmas dinner. So I had styrofoam on a bed of bitter tasting grass with half a teaspoon of sunflower oil drizzled on top. Or as they called it, the salmon salad. I really should have just got the Christmas dinner. Yeah, it's fucking trash, but it's cheaper and I can sort of enjoy it with a nice load of cranberry sauce. In fact, I'm kind of craving a disgusting, foul Toby Carvery right now. Halfway through dining upon my exquisite salmon, my mum decides she left her bag in the car, so I had to go out and get it. As I'm making my way to the car, I notice that their car is still there. But not only is it still there, but it's rocking really fucking hard. I could not tell if they were engaging in sexual intercourse or if there was a gang of angry midgets on the other side trying to tip the car over. So I looked on the other side and surprisingly there was not a gang of angry midgets on the other side trying to tip the car over. Which can only mean one thing. I've got to get my mum's bag out of the car next to them whilst they're having a fucking pelvic bone boxing match. I didn't want to look like a perv or get invited to cook them so I splinter celled my ass over there in full stealth mode, just straight up moving silent like lasagna. Which was fucking pointless, because the car makes a loud ass beeping sound when you unlock it. So anyway, I grab my mum's bag and go back inside to enjoy my meal. Well, not really enjoy. I go back inside to consume the rest of my food. And I tell my nan what I saw, which clears up the debate. The her being disabled thing was already off the table, but seeing this ruled out the possibility that she was just about to take a shit when we pulled up. Well, she still could have been taking a shit when we arrived, you know, to make space in a poop shoot, but I doubt it. So anyway, we finish our meals, and we go to make our way to the car park, and the car is still fucking there. I really would have expected them to have left by now, but whatever. Congrats to my man on his pelvic floor exercises. So we all get into the car, except my nan. My nan walks up to the other car and puts her face up against the window like a kid looking into a toy shop. <laughs> then she taps on the fucking glass. And can you guess what she said next? You should be ashamed of yourselves. Kids come here with their families to eat food. You two are what's wrong with your bloody generation. I just hope you're happy with yourselves. I'm joking. That isn't what she really said. What she really said was a lot more funnier. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Merry fucking Christmas. What an amazing line. So remember kids, if you see someone having sex in public, don't be rude and wish them a Merry Christmas. Oh my god, I literally started this video in 2018. What the fuck? So anyway, if you stayed to the end, maybe you might want to consider liking, comments, and subscribing. It would help me a lot. Especially comments, like... It's not just like an algorithm thing. I fucking love comments so much, like... The highlight of posting for me is opening some obscure soda that I bought from the internet and reading all your comments. 
I am so fucking grateful for it. all the support that I get given, even when I'm not posting, which I'm very fucking sorry about. But don't worry, I will get back to posting. I promise. Thank you. Hope you're having a happy new year.